हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियो ऑफ स्पेरिकल टेक्नोमेट्री सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड स्टेट यून फॉर मोर वीडियो सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नेपियस रूल यूर विल डिस्कस दट वॉट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ नेपियस रूल एंड हाउ डू वी यूज नेपियस रूल फॉर द नोमेरिकल ऑफ स्पेरिकल टेक्नोमेट्री सो नेपियस रूल इज एक्चुअली यूज इन अ स्पेरिकल ट्राइंगल वैन an angle is equals to 90 degree or a side is equals to 90 degree i hope you remember that i had told you in my very first video of spherical trigonometry that uh, in a uh, spherical trigonometry if an angle is equals to 90 degree then that spherical uh, triangle is known as right angle spherical triangle and if in a spherical triangle and a side is equals to 90 degree then that spherical triangle is known as and quadrantal spherical triangle so nepier's rule is used on in both of these conditions whether a spherical triangle is a right angled spherical triangle or it is an quadrantal spherical triangle so first we will discuss about right angled spherical triangles so a spherical triangle is said to be right angled when one of its angle is equals to 90 degree okay it is very simple that uh, in a spherical triangle if an angle is equals to 90 degree then that spherical triangle is known as right angled spherical triangle for example this is a spherical triangle uh, this is a spherical triangle a b c right angled at c okay and the sides are small b small a small b and small c so this is a right angled spherical triangle right angle at angle c and apart from this right angle spherical triangle have some more properties like uh, in any right angle spherical triangle an angle and its opposite side are the are, are of the same affection uh, of the same affection means for example in a right angle spherical triangle if uh, an angle is less than 90 degree then the side opposite to it will also be less than 90 degree and if an angle is measured greater than 90 degree then the side opposite to it will also be measured greater than 90 degree for example in this spherical triangle if i say that angle b is less than 90 degree okay then side opposite to it that is small b will also less than 90 degree and similarly if this angle a is greater than 90 degree then side opposite to it that is small a will also greater than measured as greater than 90 degree so this is the first property of right angled spherical triangle the second property is in a right angled spherical triangle the magnitude of the sides are either all three less than 90 degree or two greater and one less than 90 degree okay it is simple that in uh, the sides of a uh, in a spherical triangle are uh, if they are measured then either all the three sides will be less than 90 degree or any two sides will be greater than 90 degree and one will be less than 90 degree so it was the brief about uh, right angled spherical triangles so now let's see how we use nepier's rule on right angled spherical triangles for numericals in a right angled spherical triangle nepier's rule is actually used when apart from the an angle which is uh, equals to 90 degree two more elements are already given to us they may be sides or they may be angles for example uh, this is a right angled spherical triangle right angle that Uh, right angle at c and these are the sides small a small b and small c so uh, here uh, angle c is already given as uh, given to us that is 90 degree and apart from this for example these th two sides are also given to us so here we can use nepier's rule to find these three unknown elements of this right angled spherical triangle so to apply nepier's rule first we will draw a circle and we will make five parts of it and we will make five parts of it now on the top of this point first you will write angle c equals to 90 degree okay first here we will write that element which is already given to us and it is 90 degree so here we will write first we will write angle capital c that is equals to 90 degree then either you have to go clockwise or anti clockwise as you want so here if we go clockwise so first here we will write small a okay now the point is that the parts or the elements which are adjacent to the uh, angle 90 degree are written as it is okay we have to write those parts as it is 
so uh, this side small a is written as it is okay now the angle capital b will be written as 90 degree minus capital b okay then side small c it will be written as 90 degree minus side small c then angle capital a will be written as 90 degree minus capital a and then again this side b it is adjacent to the angle 90 degree so it will be written as it is okay so the point is that the uh, elements or the parts of that uh, right angle spherical triangle which are adjacent to the 90 degree they will be written as it is and uh, other other elements will be written 90 degree minus that element okay for example if you are having an angle okay which is not adjacent to the 90 degree side 90 degree part then it will be written as 90 degree minus that angle or if we have a side which is not an, not the not an adjacent side of uh, 90 degree angle then it will be written as 90 degree minus that side okay so after this for example now we have to find this capital a so first we will mark whatever is given to us so, uh, in this circle so small a and small b these two parts are already given to us and we have to find this part okay so here we can see that these three parts are consecutive okay so for consecutive nepes rule the formula for nepes rule is sine mid part is equals to tan adjacent part into tan adjacent part okay this is for consecutive parts that means the the three parts which we are going to consider from which two of them will be already given to us and third one we have to find so if those three parts are consecutive which we are going to consider then we can use this formula of nepes rule the formula is sin mid part is equals to tan adjacent part into tan adjacent part now here as this uh, three parts are consecutive so mid part is taken as that part which is in the middle of these three parts so here small b is the mid part so when we will put the values so it will become sine small b is equals to tan adjacent part so first adjacent part we can take small a then again another adjacent part so tan adjacent part another will be 90 degree minus capital a okay so the formula for the consecutive parts is sine mid part is equal to tan adjacent into tan adjacent part and then for in consecutive parts we have to take the middle one as the mid part so we'll put the values now similarly if uh, instead of the consecutive parts if we have to find non-consecutive part okay for example here we have to find this small c okay here we have to find this small c so formula for non-consecutive parts is different formula for non-consecutive parts is cos sin mid part is equal to cos opposite part into cos opposite part okay here the formula changes the formula is sin mid part is equals to cos opposite part into cos opposite part so here now what you have to take the mid part that is the main thing so when the points are when the parts are non consecutive okay when the parts are non consecutive at that time the part which will away from these two parts which are already given to us okay the part or the part which is away from two parts uh, from the from all these all those three parts and it two will be consecutive third one will maybe alternative point or it may away from them so the part which is away from those two parts will be taken as mid part so here we can see that a and b these two are adjacent to each other while this 90 degree minus small c so, so the part of small c is away from these two parts so it is taken as mid part so here we will write sin 90 degree minus small c is equals to cos opposite parts so we will take small b and cos small a okay so this is for 
नॉन कंसिक्यूटिव पार्ट द फॉर्मुला इज साइन मिड पार्ट इज इक्वल टू कॉस अपोजिट पार्ट इन टू कॉस अपोजिट पार्ट ओके एंड द मिड पार्ट विल बी दैट पार्ट विच इज अवे फ्रॉम दोज टू पार्ट ओके एनी टू पार्ट विल बी एट दिसंट एंड द थर्ड पार्ट विच विल अवे फ्रॉम इट विल टेक इट एज मिड पार्ट सो दीज आर द फॉर्मुलाज फॉर फॉर्मुलाज ऑफ नेपियस रूल इन विच वी यूज इन अ राइट एंगल स्पेरिकल ट्राइंगल फॉर कंजिक्यूटिव पार्ट एंड नॉन कंजिक्यूटिव पार्ट ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम एन एंगल विच इज ऑलरेडी नाइंटी डिग्री टू मोर एलिमेंट्स विल बी गिवन टू अस दे मे बी आई दे मे बी एंगल और दे मे बी साइड्स एंड वी कैन फाइंड दिस थ्री एलिमेंट्स विच आर अननोन ओके बाय फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस ट्रायंगल ओके देन वी हैव टू फिल द पार्ट्स एंड देन वी हैव टू सी वेदर द थ्री पार्ट्स आर कंसिक्यूटिव और नॉन कंसिक्यूटिव फॉर कंसिक्यूटिव द फार्मूला इज sin mid part is equals to tan adjacent into tan adjacent parts and for non consecutive the formula is sin mid part is equals to cos opposite part into cos opposite part now let's see how you will use this formulas and uh, let's uh, solve some numericals based on napier's rule of right angled spherical triangle now let's see a numerical uh, based on the napier's rule of right angled spherical triangle so in this question in spherical triangle nbc capital n is 40 degree 44 minutes small n is 36 degree 13 minutes and capital c is 90 degree and we have to find small b small c and capital v so uh, first we will draw the right angle spherical triangle n b c okay and it is right angled at angle capital c okay it is 90 degree uh, and the sides are small n small b and small c okay so this angle is 40 degree and 44 minutes it is already given to us and the side small n this is 36 degree and 13 minutes this is also given to us okay now uh, here we have to find this three parts okay this three unknown parts so for what i will do first we have to draw the circle and we have to make five parts of it so is the circle with five parts so first here we will write c is equals to 90 degree okay and now either we can go clockwise or anti clockwise so we will go clockwise okay so by going clockwise first we will write the part small and the side small n and it will be written as it is because it is adjacent to the angle 90 degree next is cap angle capital b so it will be written as 90 degree minus capital b then next is side small c okay so uh, it will be written as 90 degree minus small c the next is capital n so it will be written as 90 degree minus capital n because these three parts are not adjacent of angle 90 degree okay the next is small b so uh, if you can see that small b is adjacent to the part uh, to the angle 90 degree so it will be written as it is small b okay now first we will start with small b okay first we will find the the side small b so for uh, for small b we can see that the we will consider the parts okay these parts capital n small b and small n okay uh, capital n small n and small b okay these three parts we have to consider where these two parts are already given to us and we have to find this part so we know that these parts are consecutive okay these parts are consecutive parts so we will apply the formula of consecutive part so the formula is sin sin mid part is equals to tan adjacent part into tan adjacent part okay into tan adjacent part now as i told you that if the parts are consecutive then the mid part is the middle one from those three parts okay so here we can see that b is the middle part from these three so you will write sin small b is equals to 
10 adjacent parts. So first we can write small n and then we can write 90 degree minus capital N. Okay. Now we will put the values. So, so uh, when we will write the values, it will become sine small b. So small b is not given to us. We have to find it. Then 10 small n. Small n is already given to us. That is 36 degree 13 minutes. And then 10 90 degree minus capital N. So 90 degree minus capital N. Capital N is 40 degree and 44 minutes. Now we have to use calculator. But before using calculator, what you can do? Uh, you can convert this uh, 10 90 degree minus n okay 10 90 degree minus n into cot n okay because as we know that uh, 10 90 degree minus theta is equals to cot theta okay so you can convert 10 90 minus uh, n into cot n or well, what you can do you can directly subtract 90 minus 40, 40 degree 44 minute here and then you can use 10 okay so I will convert this <laughs> into cot so it will become sin small b is equals to 10 36 degree 13 minutes into cot 40 degree 44 minutes okay now by putting these values on calculator okay by putting these values on calculator you will get sin small b is equals to 0 0.8504 okay you will get 0 0.8504 and after this step by taking uh, sin this side it will become sin inverse 0 0.8504 okay and putting this on calculator you will get the value of side b that is 58 degree 15.4 minutes okay but what you have to do you have also you have to subtract it from 180 degree okay so by after subtracting it from 180 degree you will get 121 degree 44 minutes 44.6 minutes okay now the question is which one is the correct answer so as i told you about the properties of uh, right angle spherical triangle that the if an angle is uh, greater than 90 degree then the side opposite to it will also be considered as, uh, considered as greater than 90 degree it will be measured as greater than 90 degree and if an angle is less than 90 degree then the side opposite to it will be measured as less than 90 degree so to finalize the answer then we first we will have then we will have to find capital b also so after finding capital b if you get capital b is equals to greater than 90 degree okay then we will consider 121 point, uh, 121 degree 44.6 minutes as your answer for small b and if you will get capital b is equals to less than 90 degree then you will consider 58 degree 15.4 minutes as your answer okay so b was uh, b was a consecutive part okay for these two given parts but when you will calculate for uh, capital b and capital c we will use non consecutive uh, the formula of non consecutive parts so let's see how you can how we can calculate for capital b also now let's calculate the value of capital b so for capital b for capital b okay these two parts are already given to us and we have to find this part now we can see that these three parts are not consecutive okay so here uh, we will use the concept of non consecutive parts okay here we will use the concept of non consecutive parts okay so the formula is sin mid part is equals to cos opposite part into cos opposite part okay formula is sin mid part is equals to cos opposite part into cos opposite part and as i told you that uh, the mid part in non consecutive part is uh, considered as, as that part which is away from those two parts which are consecutive 
So these two parts are consecutive and this, this part is away from them. So this part will be considered as mid part. So here, okay. Uh, so here uh, the formula will become sine mid part. Mid part is 90 degree minus capital N is equals to cos opposite part. So one opposite part is small n and another opposite part is 90 degree minus capital B. Okay. Now, sin 90 degree minus capital N, it can be written as cos N. Okay. It can be written as cos N and this cos small n will be written as it is. And sin 90 degree minus capital B can be written as sin capital B. Now, here are the values of this uh, cos capital N and cos small n. Okay. Co uh, capital N is given to us. That is 40 degree. 44 minutes and cos small n is also given to us. So cos small n that is 36 degree 13 minutes and we have to find this capital B. So to find capital B first we will take the, this cos here in denominator. So it will become sin capital B is equals to cos 40 degree 44 minutes divided by cos 36 degree 13 minutes okay so from this you will get the value by this okay by this you will get sin capital b is equals to okay you will get sin capital b is equals to 0 0.9392 2 and after taking sin this side it will become sin inverse 0 0.93922 and putting this on calculator you will get b is equals to 69 degree 55.3 minutes and you, uh, you can also uh, uh, you can also subtract it from 180 degree and you will get 100 10 degree and 4.7 minutes okay so as uh, we know that we are uh, that for the small b also we will find two values okay so if we will consider capital b as 69 degree which is less than 90 degree so for small, then small b will be also considered as less than 90 degree and if you will consider capital b is equals to 110 degree 4.7 minutes then small b will be also considered as greater than 90 degree okay the value of small b which will be considered as greater than 90 degree okay, if we consider this value and uh, value of small b will be considered less than 90 degree okay that value which was less than 90 degree if we consider this value of capital b and similarly you can also find this small c this is also a non-consecutive part or you can uh, use uh, different rules cosine rule or four part formula also to find rest of the part if you, if you find the appropriate parts or the parts which are required in those formulas. So this is how we use Napier's rule on right angled spherical triangle. In the end of the video I will give you some more questions. So please go for, go for it and make it perfect. Uh, and then in our next video we will discuss that how Napier's rule is used on quadrantal spherical triangles. So I hope you like this video. So please subscribe the channel. Click the like button and share the video. Thank you so much.